I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna let you make me stop. But, <laughs> but you. But you won. Yeah, I won. Hello, everybody. It's Ken coming to you from the Circle R Ranch here with very, very special guests, Mr. Reeves Gabrels, and other special guests in the house. Everybody, say hello. Hello. All right. That's how it works. We are here to talk about the Space Hawk, which is. Um, Why are you yelling? I like to yell. Okay. I'm excited. I'm trying. I want people to feel the energy. Okay. I'm making up. I'm making up for <laughs> your, 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 yeah, you know, right, yeah, yeah. We're just, you know. Uh, All right. No, that's right. Though. <coughs> we should be more. We should be more chill when we're talking about the space one, right? Is that what uh, you're no, I'm not really. I'm just. Yeah. I was asking you just a simple okay. question. All right. Okay. I didn't want to harsh your vibe now, though. No. No, I'm on a roll. Okay, roll. I'm on a roll. <laughs> I'm fired up about the space hawk and have been for years. This was a. Uh, this was a. Uh, it was a. Uh, Real, it sounds like a cliche, but it was a real pleasure to watch this guitar come together as a collaboration between Mr. Reeves and Mr. Naylor. Um, Reeves had some ideas after spending some time on the road with The Cure about getting a guitar that was uh, more Cure oriented. And he had some very specific ideas on what he wanted that to be and how he wanted it to sound. And after sharing those ideas with Joe and Joey, Joe coming up with a, a basic idea of the of how the construct should work in order to get the tones he was looking for, uh, I was able to sit and watch the two of them sit down with a piece of paper and uh, Reverend uh, Sensei and Manta Ray and start contributing <coughs> things. Well, we had the blueprints. Yeah, we and li literally and had, the blu had the blueprints yep. at, at Joe's house. But mm -hmm. but what what I what what I realized after after the first year with the Cure for after two. Uh, uh, 2012, I, I, um, there's cert certain things about the cure mu Cure's music that, that, that requires certain things of a guitar. It's not, to my mind, it's not, uh, um, it's not obviously not Floyd Rose music. It's not, uh, it's, and it's, it's an even not traditional Strat tremolo music it's it's from from the lead guitar player's point of view it's it's um, it's uh, uh, Bigsby or or even or jazz master style tremolo music so the first thing I needed to do is solve the uh, the Bigsby problem which I did have a uh, 390 with a with a Bigsby on it that I used that first a manta ray, uh, a manta ray yeah manta ray 39 it was a manta ray 390 yeah. it was an, it was like a a limited edition, just like the lovely yeah. Miss Penny's, and uh, yeah. exactly, yeah. except mine's gray because yeah. it's older. Um, <laughs> but um, so <clears throat> anyway, I went after the uh, one uh, winter at home uh, because I have had was had I had such a busy schedule. I started moving uh, tremolos around and taking them apart, and I was convinced that having played. Um, a couple of old Bigsby's that that they could work as um, they, they they could work as more than just a guitar. You went uh, that you know we're all used to. <laughs> and I, I was there's not, nothing wrong with that, but I I knew I could get into what I saw as my territory. As well with a Bigsby, if I if I spend some Wait, time I, with it. Can I hazard a guess? Is that something like? Yeah, it's it is it is it is. Well, I'll, I I will give you a, I'll give you an example <laughs> with the Bigsby. Anyway. Which is sort of like things you're not supposed to be able to do with a Bigsby, um, which was what I was after. So I spent a couple of months trying different springs from different manufacturers, from motorcycle uh, valve springs, uh, screen door springs that I cut to length. And finally, I've, I found a spring that worked that was too narrow, but I sent it to Joe. And then I had pretty much destroyed an older, can I say Gibson? Uh, I, 
I, I carved a bunch of holes okay. in the top of a custom shop Gibson, moving the Bigsby around, figuring out where I wanted a place because I wanted a certain harmonic. I, I wanted, I wanted th these notes to r roughly be a fourth away from the open strings. I mean, at the overtones would be, and and and. Um, um, you know, so I in the process of disappearing up my own ass trying to figure th these things <laughs> out, I, <coughs> I, I also realized I needed, I, I needed a kill switch. And um, you guys had already solved the, the, the tremolo issues of by y having the, um, the, the composite nut. Yeah. And Bonite. Bonite. Yeah. Uh, what night? Bone. Oh, um, and, uh, and also the uh, locking tuners and the roller bridge. So uh, there was just a couple of issues of like placement of the knobs. Like I like the knob, I like the volume knob to be in line with the bridge. I don't like it in strat position. Uh, I, I had a specific measurement between the bridge and where I wanted the, the tremolo placed. Um, and I wanted a kill switch. So I could, so I could go. While I'm doing the things you're not supposed to be able to do in the Bigsby. Um, and, and while you're doing all those things that you're not supposed to be doing in the Cure? Or yeah. Okay. And, and, and <laughs> so, so ostensibly I ended up with a guitar that worked perfectly for, for uh, kind of more, more mm -hmm. uh, s some, some of the, the Cure hits where, where there's, uh, you know, uh, it's been a while since I played it. <laughs> Sorry, Robert. Um, and um, uh, uh, so it, it worked for that, but then it also worked for uh, stuff like Wrong Number, which is another Cure song, which is something I did with a guitar that had a, a, a Strat style tremolo on it, but it's probably the one song in the Cure repertoire that actually has that. Um, and then there was just a question of body shape and pick guard. Mm -hmm. And, and what I wanted to do was take the, uh, uh, the sensei body shape and sort of just make it bigger in the same way that you like um, uh, maybe, uh, well, I wanted to make it 335 size. And then Joe came up with the, uh, uh, the fact that you could contour the top, mm -hmm. which makes it extremely comfortable to play. And I wanted it to look like Ultimately, to look like if you were watching, um, if, you were, if you saw a picture of a recording session for, say, James Bond Goldfinger, the John, like if John Barry was conducting the orchestra doing the score, and you saw Vic Flick, who played guitar on that, yeah. sitting in, in with the orchestra playing his part, holding this guitar, you wouldn't go, well, that's wrong. That's 20 years too soon. You know, I wanted this guitar to look like it belonged there. And part of that was the segmented Baldwin-esque sure. or Burns-esque pickguard, which was actually um, uh, Joe's idea to segment it like this. I had, uh, I had some kind of idea that made it look like a, a it just looked like shit. <laughs> and, and, uh, and, uh, and but it gives it a distinctly British vibe. Well, I think, it, I think it's, it's, it is, it, for me, it is, it is the guitar that I play most of most of the night with the, with the Cure, and I do switch off between my RG1 and um, uh, the uh, I play uh, uh, some of the bass six, and mm -hmm. I have the bass six that you guys made me, mm -hmm. and uh, the bass six gun, bass six gun, yeah, that's and, which, and which is which has achieved sort of mythical uh, yeah. status amongst Reverend players that they're. There is a base six gun out there. There's one. It There's travels one. around with the cure. And and yeah. uh, um, and I, I play the uh, veto on one or two songs, and the rest the rest the re veto. Yeah, the re veto, right? Because yeah. <laughs> right, because it's a modified yeah. veto, and uh, but um, um, so, but this this guitar is perfect for that music, but perfect for, for I mean I. I play it with the imaginary friends too a good chunk of the time. When I don't need the, that full on like uh, 
psychotic tremolo dive bomb capability, mm -hmm. this works just fine. Because the one sh the one shortcoming of the of um, of the, bi the Bigsby is you get like a <laughs> you're not going to get you know, you're not going to get that. Give us a helicopter. Yeah. 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 All, all I'll get is. So I got to kind of, but a small price to pay. Right. But and all. all plus it's plus it is in in fact gives it's it's uh, 24 and three quarter scale, as opposed to um, the RG1. Which is uh, twenty five and twenty five and a half. And a half? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I guess she would know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's it's um, it's got the comfort of uh, of of that shorter shorter scale, and the sort of silky sexiness of the Bigsby. But you can kind of go you can go all sorts of wrong with it. And you got all this. <laughs> And you've also got the option of, all, like all those little t pedal steel tricks. You can, if I had a volume pedal, it would work better. But so it's just a fun guitar to play. Play us out. All right. What are you gonna play? I'm not. Oh yes, you are. Oh, fine. Oh, but Dad. Thank you.